morning. We all come in. Just getting her going here. It's certainly gotten a little bit cooler further north up here. I am already in Illinois right now. Been driving for a while. Now we finally decided to stop and uh, have our half an hour mandatory break. And grab me a bite to eat and now we're back on the road. We're gonna be rolling again. I know today is December 17th. That's the 24th when you're watching this. And most of you, or probably some of you at least, have heard that the United States President has signed the bill saying that we no longer have to uh, be restricted with this reset system the way we used to be. Turn left on. We are no longer going to be required to have two nights off between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. And we will also no longer be restricted to only take one reset a week. From now on we will be back to the pre-2013. July is when they implemented it, this law. And I am very, very happy for South that. South Chestnut Street, CR21, and then uh, take entrance to the right in 850 Put a stop to it, and uh, that's going to allow us to take a reset whenever we uh, want to. Let's say we have a four-day uh, four-day trip, and it happens to be I come home on a Friday, and uh, I want to take the weekend off. Well. Guess what? Now I will be able to do that. Where before I would not have been able to do that. So I'm really, really happy about that. I hope you guys are too. But anyways, you are watching this on the 24th. So uh, I wish all of you guys, everybody, a happy, happy Christmas celebration. I know it's uh, we're celebrating. Jesus' birthday, or at least that's what they're always saying, and that's what I'll be celebrating, I don't know about you, but that's what we will be celebrating, and we have uh, actually made arrangements to where we will go to, uh, to the lake. I know some of you are thinking, mm, what are you talking about going to the lake? It's December here in Canada, we got Lake is frozen, right? Well, we rented a cabinet up there, cabin, and we're going to go stay in there for Christmas. We wanna have our Christmas party up in there with a couple of friends, and we'll be away from town and all that stuff. We'll see what happens. We never done that before, but. That's what we will be doing. I'll probably have uh, pretty much almost a week off or whatever, you know, so uh, we'll get to see a lot of that. I guess a week from today, I guess you'll be seeing all that. Anyways, we're going to put the hammer down and try and get as far as we can today. Continue on this road for 22 miles. I already miles. looked it up. It looks like I should be able to make it up to Linden Station in uh, Wisconsin. It's a little bit past Portage, Wisconsin. And that's where I'll be spending the next night, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep on rolling. Well, this guy must have fallen asleep or something. That's not a good sign. Oh boy, he's going to be in some trouble today, that's for sure. Oh well, I guess that just happens sometimes. I made the assumption he fell asleep, but something else could have gone wrong too, right? You never know. Maybe he blew a front tire or something and he lost it, right? You never know what happens. He hit the ditch for sure. 
I've gotten this camera right here to take pictures before. Let's see if it will flash. No, it didn't flash this time, but I've seen it flash before, especially once it's dark. I'm just in, uh, in Wisconsin right now. Just entered Wisconsin here a little bit ago. And we got the scale here pretty much right past the state line, you know. Yeah, it looks like they're locked up today, which is good. Less time for me to waste. Yeah, I just fueled up there just to cross the line into uh, Illinois there. Just fueled up there a little bit ago too, so I didn't really want to fuel up in Wisconsin or Minnesota or North Dakota, so and with the fuel that I had left, I couldn't quite probably, well, I could have probably made it home if I really pushed her, but you never know what kind of weather we're going to get. It's a little bit windy today, so probably use a little bit more fuel from here to get home, so I figured oh, I'd fuel up over there. And, I didn't do too shabby on fuel mileage either. I did 6.54 US miles per gallon. So just over 5.5 US miles per gallon. So that's good. I'm happy if I can get over 6 miles per gallon US usually in winter time. Then, then I'm really happy. So which we did. We got it. Maybe we got 6.5. So that's, uh, I'll take that any day of the week, you know. Anyways, we're making good time today. Really happy about that, you know. Yeah, oh well, we'll try and get to Linden Station tonight and uh, call it a day up there, and then uh, we'll have about a thousand kilometers in today. And, I have probably about a thousand and sixty kilometers left for tomorrow to do and then we will be home sweet home I'll probably just do a reset and go again but uh, yeah we'll just try and do a quick trip yet before Christmas I'll just be home Friday probably and then by Saturday morning I'll have a reset done and then I can go again right well, we are finished for today. We have made it as far as Mauston, Wisconsin. Got a little bit over a thousand kilometers in today, which is a hard working day for me at least. I know in Canada I can get a little bit more than that, but uh, hey, up here in the US, that's a good, uh, good day driving for me at least. So, uh, hey, we got about another thousand, just over a thousand kilometers probably tomorrow and then we'll be home. So I uh, managed to get her, get her a good, uh, good, you know, uh, what I was going to say is uh, I didn't stop very much today. So uh, I got here bright and early so I can get up real early tomorrow morning and we'll be hauling my ass out of here. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be hopefully uh, home before sunset tomorrow. And then we'll have Friday off, and I guess do another one on Saturday, probably. Try and get a load 